hello dear friends welcome back to our channel high point and in this video we'll have the line by line summary of the poem to his coy mistress by andrew marvel about andrew marvel we have done already an individual video you can see the link to the video in the i button you can click the video if you have missed it or you can see the entire videos that we have done in relation with the puritan age in, as a playlist in the i button too you can watch the video from there if you have missed any of the previous videos okay and if you are a first time listener and you have not yet subscribed to my channel you can subscribe to the channel if you are interested to have more contents related to english literature which are relevant for nta ugc net chair of english language and literature and you can visit my website www.highpoint.in if you are looking for some serious simplified and well arranged uh, and affordable of course study materials for your nta ugc net chair of english language and literature exam preparation and after having the free trial you can see what we have provided there in the form of audio lectures and pdf materials and also previous and practice question papers and if you are interested you can join the course from the website itself and be our student and have the free bonuses of personalized study guideline and weekly test going on in every days every other saturdays okay if you are interested to know more you can use this whatsapp number or use the instagram id and also follow me on instagram there too we are sharing lot of variety of materials for your net year of preparation moving on about to his coy mistress let's have an introduction about the poetry it's a metaphysical poem written by english author and politician known as andrew marvel uh, who lived from 1621 to 1678 and uh, he wrote this uh, work either during or just before the english interregnum happened from 1649 to 60 it was published posthumously in 1681 this poem is considered one of marvel's finest and is possibly the best recognized carpe diem poem in english so what is carpe diem carpe diem is live your life fullest like this is your last day okay anyway you will die okay carpe diem so that kind of a, a theme we can find in here where you are self aware about your death and you know that you are going to die some day or other so you live your life fullest like this is your last day okay so although the date of this composition is not known it may have been written in the early 1950s at that time marvel was serving as a tutor to the daughter of the retired commander of the new model army sir thomas fairfax so it is assumed that if he has written this uh, poem in 1950s while during that time he was serving as a tutor to the daughter of the retired commander of the new model army sir thomas fairfax okay this is his most recognized and famous poem okay and here we can see many metaphysical elements and from various uh, disciplines he has brought about uh, you know uh, metaphors in order to substantiate his idea that he uh, discusses now let's move on to the line by line summary of to his coy mistress the poem had we but world enough and time so this first line is another title for to his coy mistress okay to his coy mistress or had we but world enough and time so the first line itself is another title for this poem do remember that had we but world enough and time this coyness lady were no crime we would sit down and think which way to walk to pass our long love's day thou by the indian ganges side shouldest rubies find i by the tide of humber would complain i would love you turn years before the flood and you should if you please refuse till the con conversion of the jews so here andrew marvel has not divided this uh, entire poem into regular stanzas we will find irregular stanzas with irregular uh, you know a number of lines in each stanza now let's see here the speaker is a lover and the lover is speaking to the beloved i know you are well aware about the theme of this uh, poem that uh, this lover want to have physical love with his beloved but the beloved is refusing so uh, here he is actually making him making her understand that see we have very limited time to live we are not forever living and he is 
convincing his lover his beloved to make love with him that's the entire theme that going on in this poem in order to substantiate the argument made by the speaker the lover many other uh, similes metaphors and are used from various disciplines so here he says that he has an abrupt this poem has an abrupt very sudden beginning that's one of the features of metaphysical poetry had we but world enough and time see if we had enough time and uh, world if we have enough uh, time to spend in this world this coyness this shyness that you have lady there is that is not a crime if you have enough time and space to live here then your shyness to uh you know to have sexual pleasure with me my lady that is not a crime we would sit down so if we have enough time and space then we can sit down and we can think which way we need to walk we can think in that uh, kind of uh, think about that kind of minor and irrelevant thing that where in which direction we should walk and how we should pass our long loves day so if we had enough time and space thou by the indian ganges side should us rubies find so if we have enough time and space we can you can thou means you you can sit by the ganges side how come andrew marvel got the idea the uh, the uh, knowledge about ganges indian river okay this is because of because of colonialism okay so from uh you know from um, geography maybe this idea that he got so he is also a politician so he is well aware about this political uh, things happening in colonies and the uh, various other informations various other information from colonies okay so thou by the indian ganges side should it be one so you can sit beside you can sit on the ganges bank and you can find the rubies from there i by the tide of humber would complain so i you are refusing me to love me to have physical pleasure uh, you know uh, from you so uh, i'll be sitting i if we had time then we i you can sit on the banks of ganges and find the rubies then i can sit Uh, by the ganges uh, by the uh, banks of the humber and i can complain about your refusal i would love you 10 years before the flood if i had time then i can i would have uh, loved you 10 years before the great flood happened and you should uh, you should love me or you should if you please so if it pleases you to refuse me then if you had enough time you can you know if you can refuse me till the conversion of the jews okay so if we had time we can do all these things my vegetable love should grow vaster than empires and more slow so my love is like a vegetable uh, or like a tree or a creep or a vegetable plant it will grow it will wa- grow vaster than the empire and more slow a hundred years should go to praise than i so he says that see see again um, he compares his love to empire the growing the growth of his love to the growth of the empire so rapidly the empire the british empire is growing in the colonies that he, he is aware empire comes this word comes uh, and this word is relevant in post colonial studies so there is a connection there too to colon, colonization and so my love will grow vaster than the empire so the empire is growing faster and i will be more slow and i can act more slow if i had time i can love i can praise you 100 years i can sit for 100 years and i can praise your eyes time means your eyes if i had enough time and space and on thy forehead gaze so i can spend another 100 years your forehead the in telling about the beauty of your forehead 200 to adore each breast i'll take if i had time i'll spend 200 years each for each breast that you have uh, but 30000 to the rest so you have other body parts too so i'll spend 30000 more years to praise your rest of the body and age at least to every other part so i'll actually spend 100 years in an age means 100 years 100 years a century i'll spend at least a century 100 years or an age 
to every other part of your body to praise it and and adore it and the last stage should show your heart so i uh, while i was adoring each of your body part taking every age, taking an age or uh, consuming or uh, using a hundred years spending a hundred years i'll you uh, know show your heart i'll adore your heart i'll you know i'll see your heart in that last stage in that last hundred years for lady you deserve the state nor would i love at lower rate okay so you should not think that i love you a lower rate and my love is so supreme and i want you to love me while we are still youth while we are still young in our ages but at my back i always hear times winged chariot hurrying near so you uh, have to remember that this line is from to his coy mistress timed winged chariot hurrying near so such a wonderful beautiful image here chariot time is uh, you know fastly approaching us in its winged chariot how beautifully he says that how time is approaching you how time is coming and it will take life from you okay so even though this is the situation that i passionately love you i want to send i want to spend centuries even praising your physical body so it's not that possible because in my back i hear it is approaching me the times being charity is approaching me hurrying near me and yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity okay so what we see beyond yonder after die after our death it's a vast desert of vast eternity eternally it is desert I mean there is nothing thy beauty shall no more be found as time passes your your beauty shall no more be found nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song then worms shall try that long preserved virginity why after your death you don't have any use of your beauty you nobody can see your beauty because you will be in that marble vault of your coffin or your uh, you know grave you will be underneath your grave you will be um, you know sleeping endlessly eternally you will be sleeping there is nothing yonder there so under that marble vault you may see you may uh, hear my echoing song a cough my song uh, asking for your physical love and all maybe my song will echo there but while you are um, lying there worms will try worms will be there in that long preserved virginity in the in your vagina worms will try your virginity that you were preserving long and it is useless there is no need of that because anyway after a certain period of time we will die and nobody is going to remember you and that is true in this situation in, in every other for every other person it is true and your quaint honor turned to dust so that long preserved virginity uh, that you preserved that will turn to dust and into ashes all my lust so my lust will turn into ashes and your honor your virginity will turn into dust the graves fine graves are fine and private place but none i think do three do their embrace so the grave is not a bad place to have it's a fine place it's a private place after that you will privately lying there even though it's a chamber your private chamber your private place there nobody will think of embracing you nobody will think of making love to it so grave is a fine place private place but nobody i do not think that that's a good place to embrace you or good place to make love with you okay moving on now therefore while the youthful hue sit on thy skin like morning dew and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires now let us uh, sport us while we may and now like amorous birds of prey rather at once our time devour than languish in his slow chapped power let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life thus though we cannot make our son stand still yet we will make him run so this is rather a long 
uh, stanza now therefore while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew it's a plain sentence so this is the situation we will die and you are long preserved vagina will turn into dust and love my lustful love will turn into what turn into uh, ashes so before that let's have some love while we are still young and while the young youthful hue youthful hue means color that rosy cheeks that you have now that uh, beautiful rosy cheek and that uh, beautiful skin that you have because you are youthful now you are young now so that hue is sitting on your skin like a morning like a morning dew like a morning snowdrop let's have some love let's make love so rigorously and while their billing soul transpires at every pore with instant fire so your body will be you know get fired instantly because of the love so your body is like a, a from every other pore fire can you know fire can come out such a youthful situation we have such a young uh, body we have now at every pore with instant fires now let us spot us while we may so now we can make love because we are capable to make love because we are young we love each other and our love is not a law kind of love i love you so passionately so when we have this ability to make love physically let's have that and now like amorous birds of prey rather at once our time devour so like a, like amorous birds of prey let's make love before time comes and grab us each other grab our lives grab our time rather at once our time devour than languish in his slow chop chapped power so now we have time now we are not out of time so like amorous birds of prey let's make love again again he is saying the same thing let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball let's make a one world and we can make our uh, use of all our strength and or all our sweetness that we have together and we make a one ball one world and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life so we have iron gates of life we are facing many um, you know many problems in our life throughout our life so using this thing we can tear our pleasures with a rough strife through the iron gates of life thus thou we cannot make our sun stand still see even though we love passionately we uh, desire each other passionately we cannot make the sun still we cannot you know prohibit we cannot stop the coming of time we cannot stop time to come and uh, a time to come and we will go we will be going away from this life but even though we cannot stop that to come but we can make him run we can make him run means we can leave uh, the passion that we have right as long as we live we can be in Uh, be in that passion okay so even though we cannot stop that sun stand still and make the sun stand still but we can make that sun run for us so this was a small poem not that complicated so the young lover persuading and uh, uh, you know convincing the beloved to make love with him okay in while they are still young while they have still time and strength So that's all about this poem. It's a metaphysical poem. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my weird channel and also follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to visit my website www. high point. dot in if you are looking for some uh, materials for your uh, NTA UGC and JRF English language and literature preparation. See, once you have this material, you can invest your entire time on completing, finishing that uh, materials and revising them. That is very very important for cracking NTA net JRF. English language and literature meet in the next video session and then stay tuned to high point and be happy in your life guys tata bye bye